Okay, let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 13, decimal fractions. Topic D, addition with tenths and hundredths. Let's add 3 tenths and 57 hundredths together. Now something to keep in mind when we look at something like this. We don't want to just say 57 plus 3 is 60. So this would be 60 hundredths. That's incorrect. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make. If you instead think about this as a fraction, it's easier to see why we can't add this together that way. If we think about 3 tenths as a fraction, and we think about 57 hundredths as a fraction, then we can be reminded of our area model and how 3 tenths is really 30 hundredths. So now, when I look at this, it makes more sense that I can add 30 and 57 together and get 87, because 3 tens plus 5 tens is 80, plus 8 ones would be 87. So 30 hundredths plus 57 hundredths is 87 hundredths. And written as a decimal would be 87 hundredths. So let's try this one. 0 and 29 hundredths plus 8 tenths. Well again, we don't want to think about just taking 29 plus 8 and adding them together. Let's think about these as fractions first. So here's 29 hundredths plus 8 tenths. I can look at this 8 tenths, think about it in an area model. Remember decomposing it into 100 parts, and I'll know that this will become 80 hundredths. So then I'll have 29 hundredths plus 80 hundredths. When I add 29 plus 80 together, I get 109. Now 109, I can see that I have a hundred hundredths in there. So that's one whole and nine hundredths. Written as a decimal would be this way. Let's try this one. Six and eight tenths plus five and seven tenths. So here I have six and eight tenths plus five and seven tenths. I want to think about this in fraction form. So this is what it would look like. 6 and 8 tenths plus 5 and 7 tenths. Now when I add this together, I need to add my 1's, which would be 11, and then I can add my tenths, which would be 15. So it would be 11 1's and 15 tenths. But see this 15 tenths, I can think about it this way. 10 tenths would be equal to one whole. That would leave me with 5 tenths. So instead of having 11 and 15 tenths, I take this 1 and put it with the 11 and I get 12 and 5 tenths. So 11 and 15 tenths is equal to 12 and 5 tenths. So when I add 6 and 8 tenths plus 5 and 7 tenths, I get 12 and 5 tenths. Let's try this one. 4 and 28 hundredths plus 2 and 97 hundredths. I want to convert these to fractions first. 4 and 28 hundredths plus 2 and 97 hundredths. I can add my 4 and my 2 together and make 6. And then I can add my 28 and my 97 together. And that's going to give me 125. So I would have 6 and 125 hundredths. Now again, I have 100 hundredths here. So that means I can pull a hundred hundredths and turn that into one. And then I would have twenty-five hundredths left over. 
6 plus 1 plus 25 hundredths would be equal to 7 and 25 hundredths. Written as a decimal, it would look like this, 7 and 25 hundredths. All right, that's going to wrap things up for lesson 13, where we've been adding decimal numbers by converting to fraction form.